Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy. How are you doing this wonderful morning, this Tuesday, this chilly, chilly Tuesday? Uh, I don't know, you know, weather in Kansas. I Every time when the weather changes and it's just kind of weird and it's just unimaginable, <laughs> you know, um, you know, I just... Sometimes you just kind of go, well, you know, here's Kansas again. <laughs> Welcome to Kansas. So, Ephesians six twelve. Yesterday we dealt with six eleven. So let's continue on six twelve. Six twelve is for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of over this present darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. See, we get so, um, I don't know, so weirded out. Um, in fact, people are, are enamored with, with like horror movies. Not, not a lot of, a lot of people just go like, I'm not watching that. It's just, but there's, have been a, uh, I don't know. I watched commercials, um, growing up. I really, um, was able to watch um, horror movies. You know, there's my confession. When I was growing up, just watched a lot of different kinds of movies. But um, there's just been a lot of different movies. But if you look at the scripture, um, the the battle that we're fighting is not a physical one. It's a spiritual one. I mean, it is it is serious business. And how do we fight this? We fight this in prayer. It's it's knowing that it's not against flesh and blood. It's against the spiritual battles of the. Uh, it's a spiritual battle. And too many times we go, well, I'm just going to go out and there and fight. I'm going to fight the. I'm going to fist it up, right? It's not about flesh. It's not about. Um, a physical, it's it's a spiritual battle. And we do that through prayer. We do that with, uh, uh, you know, knowing the word of God. It's 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 through the word and through prayer and, and knowing who whom we believe in. That's, that's putting on the full armor of God in Ephesians 6. So uh, it's, we, it's just not going, yeah, I'm just going to get out there and fight fight physically it's, it takes physical uh endurance of course and that's prayer but it's knowing that you have the strength to to get that through so um like i talked about it yesterday that every day when i when i leave my house and i i get to the facility i pray putting on the full armor of God. And, and this, this is what it deals with. You know, I, I know that when I, um, in this world, there's a lot of negativity, um, in this world, not just going to the facility, it's in this world as a whole, um, and words and, and thought processes and, and, and visual and all this stuff. It just compounds and, and it feels like it's just, I don't know. Sometimes it feels, and this is not a very good descriptive word, but it feels like the world and all of its negativities is throwing up on us. Uh, it, it, whether you're a, a believer or not, but as a believer, we know how to fight that. And that's putting on the full armor of God. And, and that's found in, again in Ephesians 6. And so if we put that on, we have a protective gear on, right? I, I always think about it this way. Uh, the hazmat suit, right? And we put on the, the spiritual hazmat suit and, and we make it through each and every day knowing that we can do it one more day and we pray through each situation. We, we can make it through each situation and God assists us and God helps us and knowing that we have the faith to believe that we can make it through each day. And, and that's the amazement, amazing thing. So putting on that, the spiritual armor or better yet, the spiritual hazmat suit. Amen. And so we can make it. Amen. So let me, let me get out your notebook, write this as we go through Ephesians 6. 
I'm not sure what the verse will be tomorrow. Maybe it'll be Ephesians 6, 13. But Ephesians 6, 12 today, write this verse out. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic power of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Write that verse out. Put a O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. So we're going to pray. We're going to believe God that as today, as you look at Ephesians 6 and you put on the full armor of God, that you'll just have an awesome day. Amen? Let's pray. If you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put that in the comment area. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for today. Thank you for those who are watching now and those who watch later. Encourage their heart, I pray. Lord, thank you. Lord, I pray that if there's someone sick, I pray that you heal their body. I pray those that are well, that you protect them from getting sick. I pray for uh, our government, that Lord God, that you give them wisdom as they make decisions. I pray for our economy, that you turn it around. I pray for those that are in need. Lord, I pray that you provide for them. I pray, Lord Jesus, that um, you just... Uh... Sorry. That, Lord, that you just uh, give us the opportunity to bless somebody today. I also pray that, Lord, that you give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today. And, Lord, again, I pray a blessing upon everyone that watches now and later, that you bless them with a great day. Lord, thank you so much for today. In your name, amen. Have an amazing day. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Have a great day. Love you guys.